Another uh, goal problem here it says find all the rational zeros of the polynomials. And to do this, remember we need to find uh, plus or minus all of our p's over our q's. And the way we find p's and q's, p is going to be the factors of our constant term, in this case negative 40, and q is going to be all the factors of our uh, leading coefficient, which in this case is 2. Okay, so let me write these out do a big fraction bar here. And all my P's could be, well, if I think of 40, factors of 40, we have one, two, three doesn't go into 40, four does though, uh, five does, um, six no, seven no, eight does, right, and this is eight times five, one times four, but 10, what times two, 20, and then what times one is 40. Okay, over the Q's, which is two, well, the only things that go into two are one and two, to be a one and a two for possibilities there. But we don't want to list it out like this. We want to list it out like plus or minus. Okay, and I'm just going to go through each of these individually until I exhaust all the possibilities. So one over one is one. One over two, one half, one is done. What about two? Two over one is two. Two over two is one. We already have it, so I don't have to write that down again. Two is done. What about four? Four over one is four. Um, 4 over 2 is 2. I already have that. 5. 5 over 1 is 5. 5 over 2 is 5 halves. I don't have 5 halves. I have to write that one down. Um, 5 is done. 8. 8 over 1 is 8. 8 over 2 is 4, which I already have. 10. 10 over 1 is 10. 10 over 2 is 5. I have 5 already. 20. 20 over 1 is 20. 20 over 2 is 10. I just got that one last time. And then 40. 40 over 1 is 40, 40 over 2 is 20, and again, for the last time. So all the possibilities are plus or minus, put those maybe in parentheses, so we apply that plus or minus to all of them. So it doubles our list, right? It's one plus or minus 1, plus or minus 1 half, plus or minus 2, and so on, okay? So put it in parentheses like that to say that plus or minus applies to everything. What about f of x equals this polynomial? 3x to the fourth minus x to the third minus 32x squared plus 11x plus 60. Same idea, all right? First off, my p's are going to be p over q. These will be all the factors of 60, okay? 60 is one, two, three does go into 60. Uh, so does four, five, 60 has a lot of them. Uh, four, five, six, of course, seven, no, eight, no, eight times seven is 56, so that wouldn't work. And then I start going backwards, right? Six times the 10, five times 12, four times 15, um, three times 20, and two times 30, and one times, of course, 60, okay? Over factors of three. Well, again, three is a prime number, so the only things going to three are one and three. I have a one and a three on the bottom. Again, I'm gonna do my list. Now, like you saw in this last one, when we had everything over one, that always got written down, right? I could go through this list and find those. One, two, four, five, eight, 10, 20, 40. Okay, I wanna write just those out first, because anything over one is just gonna be itself, and those will not repeat. One, two, three, I'm just writing the top line, four, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60, okay, and then I can do it over the 3. Well, 1 over 3 is 1 third, that's not on my list. 2 over 3, 2 thirds, not on the list. 3 over 3 is 1, that is on the list, okay, and cross it as I go. 4 over 3, not on the list. 5 over 3, 5 thirds. 6 thirds is 2, that is on my list already. 10 thirds, nope. Uh, 12 over 3 is 4, that's on the list. 5 over 3 is 5, also on the list. Um, 20 divided by 3, so it's 20 thirds. 30 divided by 3 is 10, right here. And 60 divided by 3 is 20, also on my list. So this, a huge list of possibilities. Um, for the factor or for the rational zeros of that polynomial. And then eventually we're going to have to learn how to take those, use synthetic division, and you have to guess and check until you find a factor that goes in. That'll be for another video.